is exalted, the King is exalted on high. I will praise Him. He is exalted forever, exalted and I will praise His name. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, thank you for the gift of life and thank you for everything you've done unto us. Forgive us our sins. Help us understand this sermon and may you help us keep it in our hearts. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And our key text for today is Romans chapter 1 verse 16. And it said, For I am not ashamed of the gospel because it is the power of God that brings salvation. Oh, isn't our Jesus just Great and wonderful. I know, right? Isn't he just marvelous and delightful? Oh, is he just me? Haven't you heard of Jesus? Isn't he just merciful and full of grace? I can't help smiling and being happy in my heart. I agree with you people. Boys and girls, here, put your hands on your heart like this. I want to tell you that it has been really, really wonderful to spend two beautiful months Telling heavenly stories. Ah, yes. We have loved being here with you guys at the feet of Jesus. Did you know, children, that at the feet of Jesus, there is a big, huge room, bigger than, guess what, all the rooms in the world combined. And in that room, everybody is invited. When I say everybody, boys and girls, I really do mean everybody. All the people from all the four corners of the world. But wait. Isn't the world too big? Of course, the world is too big. But what if I tell you, it is not even close the size of this room. Aha! Then I'd be shocked on behalf of the children. Can we tell the children of some wonderful things about this room? Oh, I yeah. mean, in fact, uh, in the middle of this room. Oh yes, I'd love to. But first, let's sing this song as we go to show them. Walking with Jesus, walking every day, all along the way. Walking with Jesus, walking with Jesus alone. Walking in the sunlight, walking in the shadows, walking every day, all along the way. Walking in the sunlight, walking in the shadows, walking with Jesus alone. Praying with Jesus, praying every day, all along the way. Praying with Jesus, praying with Jesus alone. Praying in the sunlight, praying in the shadows, Praying every day, all along the way. Praying in the sunlight, praying in the shadow. Praying with Jesus alone. Singing with Jesus. Singing every day, all along the way. Singing with Jesus. Singing with Jesus alone. Sunlight singing in the shadows, singing every day, all along the way. Singing in the sunlight, singing in the shadows, singing with Jesus alone. Well, boys and girls, in the middle of this room, there's a cross just like this one. A long, long time ago, Jesus died for you and for me on this cross. He hung on this cross. Well, not this one, but a cross that looks a little like this one. And the soldiers nailed his feet and nailed his hands. Mm -hmm. You know something those soldiers didn't know? 
What did they, they know? That every time they hit the nail through his hand with the hammer, it was still our sins they were nailing on the cross. And every blood that dropped from the face of Jesus washed you and me to become white, whiter than my goodness know. Uh -huh. Children, and every pain that Jesus felt, he felt so that you and me will be happy. And that, dear children, is how he created this big, huge room for us, for you, and for me. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm curious. If you, my dear friends, could give this room a name, what would you call this room? Mm-hmm. I think I will call it the room of forgiveness. Forgiveness? Ah, interesting. What about you, Joseph? What would you call this room? Mm-hmm. I wonder how the children will call it, but I will call it the room of grace. Aha, uh -huh. wonderful. I have a name too. I will call it the room of salvation. Mm, the room of salvation. That sounds a lot like what Paul would call this room. Oh yeah, I remember Paul one time said, for, for I am not ashamed of the gospel because it is the power of God that brings salvation. Yes, children, and the gospel on the cross will give us all salvation. Children, children, Paul did not want to enter the room of salvation alone. Yes, very right. And for that reason, he and the other missionaries continued their missionary tour and telling people about our room of salvation. And when they once told them, guess what? They went back again and remind them of the good work and the good work of the cross of salvation. Speaking of going back, do you guys remember Lystra? Oh yes, oh yes we do. Lystra is the place where people do not like what Paul was preaching to them. And so they stoned him. And when they thought that Paul had died, they dragged him out of the city. Oh yeah, now I remember Lystra. Third story. I want to shock you guys. Imagine Paul decided to go back to Lystra. What? Are you kidding us? I wish I was. Why would he do that? Wasn't it dangerous? Yes, you are right. It was dangerous. So why do you think he did it? Uh -huh. Because he loved them very much and he did not want them to get lost. Not even there is enough space at the foot of Jesus. Did they try to stone him again this time? Imagine no. In fact, he went back and found most people had changed their hearts and they were obeying the Lord Jesus Christ. Very well, wonderful. Children, every time you tell someone about the death of Jesus, you're making the cross bigger and bigger and bigger. Yes, children, at the room is where there is the cross, and at the cross is where there is light. And the light will lighten their path, and the cross will bring joy unto their heart, because the cross is more lighter than their burdens. And when their burdens are lighter, they will rejoice and praise the name of the Lord. And in that room, do not come alone. There is too much space. Call your friends and do not forget to tell them that God loves them. Me, I'd rather spend one day in this home than spending a thousand years elsewhere. I will enter his gate with us giving my heart. I will enter his court with praise. I will say this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. Jesus. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for this sermon. That's why we are appreciating for everything. Forgive us our sins, and may you help us understand it and follow it. And this is my prayer. Amen. 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 Children, who want to invite others to this amazing room at the feet of Jesus? Joseph? Don't forget to tell others that God loves them, and they should not be ashamed of the gospel. We will miss you dearly, guys. But until next time, we say bye. bye.